What's up everyone? Welcome to Wise Wealth, where we dive into all things personal finance. Today we're bringing you episode 6 of our Stock of the Week series. In Stock of the Week, we pick a stock for any host of reasons. It may have been in the news recently, a recent earnings report may have been published, or anything else, and we break it down in a video for you. We'll take a look at any recent events that may affect the stock, what its performance has been like, and what we think it will be in the near future. The analysis will go into the financials, what it's trading at, and ultimately, do we think it's a good investment at this point in time? At the end of the analysis, we'll rate the stock out of 10 to give you an idea of it in a quick and easy to understand video. And I hope that it helps you with your own investment decisions. Now I must caveat this by saying that this is not financial advice, and it's purely my own thoughts on the stock and intended for educational purposes. I'd always advise doing your own due diligence before investing your own money. So welcome to episode six. We started the series recently and have been receiving a lot of positive news from it, so thanks for that. These sorts of videos seem to be the most popular, so there'll be much more of this coming in the future. I hope that this episode will provide you guys with some value, and if you're new here, then welcome to the channel. If you're looking for content about stock market investing and personal finance, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload new content. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. So in today's episode of Stock of the Week, we'll be looking at Unilever. For those of you who don't know, Unilever is a British Dutch multinational consumer goods company headquartered in London. Its products include a variety of commonly known brands for food, drinks, cleaning, and personal care products. It's listed on the FTSE 100 on the London Stock Exchange, and as of this video, they are currently trading at £44.14 per share. I chose Unilever for this episode for a number of reasons. Firstly, the stock is preferred among many dividend investors looking for a steady stream of passive income and our analysis of the dividend performance over time will show exactly why. Secondly, Unilever has been a great investment for many throughout the pandemic, and according to some of the new developments, may be set to perform even better in the future. We'll look at all of these elements individually, starting off with the financials. So let's get started. So how has the firm performed over the last few years? Looking at the chart, we can see that Unilever boasts an immense annual revenue of nearly 52 billion euros. This shows the scale at which Unilever operates and how embedded its products are in our everyday lives. It is, however, worth mentioning that this revenue figure is lower than it was between 2015 and 2017. Interestingly, the pandemic has had little effect on revenues for the firm, with their Q1 earnings for 2020 roughly in line with expectations. Operating profits have remained steady with a fantastic output in 2018. These levels of profits show exactly why Unilever are able to pay out great dividends to their shareholders. An area where we have seen steady growth over time is the earnings per share. And this is reflected in the corresponding dividend figures for these years. So looking at the dividend performance, we can see on the right that Unilever pays out a dividend quarterly. This is great for passive income investors as it gives a regular income stream. If we alternate our investments with other quarterly paying firms, we can easily reach a level where we receive payments each month in the form of dividends from multiple companies. From 2016 onwards, we can see the dividend payout has increased slightly over time to one euro and 59 cents per share in 2019. As we mentioned with the earnings per share growth, Unilever has been able to provide a steady dividend growth so that we as investors can share in their success. What's even more impressive is that in a year where dividend slashes, suspensions and cuts have been commonplace, Unilever has managed to maintain a dividend payment for Q1 which also saw an increase year on year. Despite the pandemic, consumer spending habits for personal care products, food and drink 
were not negatively affected to harm Unilever's sales. If anything, for a brief time, we saw purchases skyrocket in supermarkets as some people looked to stockpile amid the uncertainty. With a dividend yield of 4.2% in 2019 and dividend growth seen so far in 2020, investors should expect to see a higher dividend yield as stocks were so heavily discounted after the crash. This presents a great opportunity for investors looking to grab a solid dividend stock at a great price. The main reason for choosing Unilever for today's episode was actually their recent announcement in the last week regarding their legal structure. On the 11th of July, via a press release, Unilever announced plans to unify its group legal structure under a single parent company listed on the London Stock Exchange, Unilever PLC. Shares rose 3% on the day ahead of the news. This comes after an apparent 18-month comprehensive review by the board and is expected to bring significant benefits by increasing Unilever's strategic flexibility for portfolio evolution, including through equity-based acquisitions or demergers, and removing complexity and further strengthening Unilever's corporate governance. Nils Anderson, chairman of Unilever, announced, we are confident that unification will help Unilever deliver its vision of driving superior long-term performance through its multiple stakeholder business model. In conclusion, I think that Unilever is a great stock investment overall. The nature of its products mean that they will remain in demand for as long as the firm is in business and consumers will continue to buy their tried and tested products for years to come. The dividend growth, coupled with consistent earnings per share growth, ensures that we as investors will see dividend growth throughout the future as well further solidified by merging of the legal structure of the group to streamline processes and provide additional benefits to the firm in serving its customers, I think that the only way for Unilever is up. For this reason, and for the first time on our Stock of the Week series, I'm going to give this stock a resounding 10 out of 10. I can't think of a reason to score the stock any lower, and if you can find one, then let me know in the comments below. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts on this. So let me know, what do you think of Unilever as a dividend investment? Do you currently have investments in Unilever and may look to add to it in the near future? Thanks for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you found it useful, smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more episodes of Stock of the Week, subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit that bell icon to get notified of new posts. I upload all sorts of videos on this channel, not just the stock of the week stuff. So if you're interested in investing videos, top fives and personal finance in general, check out my channel for more. Be sure to share this with your friends who may be interested in looking at some stock of the week series, personal finance, investing videos in general. And until next time, see ya.